Lincoln, with Jonah moving the center, um, how do you feel about the depth of tackle? And who are the guys that you trust putting the games out there right now? Uh, depth of tackle is um, the quality is good. The depth is a little bit of a concern right now. Um, we'll, there's certainly the possibility that we um, may look to add somebody there. Um, obviously, just kind of see how how spring unfolds. Some of these young guys are going to get a ton of reps. Uh, you think like a Tobias Raven, you know, Justin Tynow that just got here. You know, because of the depth, they, they'll get a million reps. It'll be fun to see them. Uh, see them progress, but I mean, you know, right now, you know, Paige and and, uh, and Murphy right now would, would certainly be the, the first two in there. But we're going to experiment. We got a couple of the other body types out there that we feel like uh, athletically can move around and do some things. And obviously, we've still got a few freshmen that are uh, that will be here with us this summer. So we're gonna we're gonna tour around with the lineups a little bit, uh, move some guys around. But it, it's certainly. Of all the positions, that's one of the few that, like, we know that we're going to either probably have to move somebody or bring somebody in. Hey, Coaches, there's been PRPs going on throughout the offseason. Coaches have been out there. How do the players react today? First day, real live practice. How did that go? Yeah, it always feels different, um, and especially with as many changes uh, as far as the staff and obviously the defensive scheme. And so I, I think. I think almost kind of like relief to just like finally get out here and go, you know, just the process of getting these guys hired, you know, getting the, the system uh, installed, at least the, the beginning pieces of it, uh, getting all the players here, just, just all that it entails. Um, you know, we, we could, we could write a book about the last few months. And so it's uh, to finally just actually all be out here together and go to work was, was a great feeling. And, um, I thought the players matched it with with great energy. I thought um, I thought defensively, uh, you know, our patient approach approach to the installation showed today. You could tell we didn't have too much in, um, and that the guys were able to, to handle it. Um, so good start. What what can, what, what, you said you want to let Miller and Jaden kind of duke it out, you know, this spring. What, what are you looking for in that for someone to kind of establish themselves? Are you looking to kind of name a starter by the end of a spring camp? I don't know. I would never peg myself uh, into that. You just, you got to let these things evolve. So we're going to rep, you know, uh, those two and Jake Jensen. We're going to rep all three of those guys. The three of those guys will take every rep here throughout the spring. We'll see how it evolves. Uh, but they all did some really good things today. And, um, you know, I, I'm happy about the addition of Jaden and, and how he's handled uh, the, the first several weeks of being here in his first practice. And obviously great to have Miller and Jake back. We have some experience in our room. So that's a really good room right now. Coach, we're from D.C. While you're getting these quarterbacks ready, you have a pro day tomorrow and your former quarterback. What, what, what's the NFL getting, Caleb? Well, they're, they're getting a, a great talent. Uh, they're getting a guy that's still very young in his career and has a has a lot to go uh, in terms of you know growing and improving. Uh, but I know he's hungry and excited for that next opportunity, like all of our guys are. You you go through this, you, you dream about it. The draft process is really long, and when you finally get close to closer to, to getting to that point where you know where you're going to go, it's a little bit of a relief where you can just get back to playing ball. And I know he and all of our other guys are eager for that. But tomorrow should be a great day. It's going to be you know, a highly anticipated pro day like there normally is here at USC. And we'll have all 32 teams here. And um, a great opportunity for Caleb and all of our guys. When you see him up and close and personal, what's his strength? Um, you know, I, you know, I would say probably you know the natural ability, you know, the ability to throw the ball off platform, the ability to move and create. Um, he's got a good mind for the game. I mean, he he's obviously a very good athlete, so he, he's got the skill set, and it's just got to continue to to sharpen and grow as it has over the last several years. And he's just got to keep that keep that trajectory right now. Lincoln, what was the decision to name Luke you the quarterback coach? Yeah, we, it was something that we explored. We actually talked about it uh, a little bit last year uh, and ended up not, not pulling the trigger on it. Just didn't feel like exactly the right time, uh, but had another conversation after the off season. And, you know, we felt like, you know, Luke's experience, uh, both playing and coaching the position previously, uh, you know, he's now has had multiple years in our system and his familiarity with, with what we want to do was at a point where, um, it made sense. It it's obviously gives me a chance to, to, to bounce around and do a lot of things. I'll still be very, very involved with the quarterbacks. I'm certainly not leaving it by any stretch. Um, but there are times when I want to be in the O-line meeting. You know, there's times when I want to be in the defensive meetings. I haven't missed a defensive install this spring. Um, and so 
to be able to bounce around uh, and but, but still be present there was was ideal. And Luke's got the great skill set for it. And so so far, the guys have taken to it very well. Was that tough for you to kind of end off? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Um, that, not in. I knew I knew it was going to be a great thing, and I knew. I mean, Luke is more than capable. Lucky to have someone like him that has a skill set to be able to do it. Um, but yeah, listen. When you've done something for 20 straight years, it's it's. Uh, it's, it's a little strange, but I've enjoyed it. I have. I feel like it's allowed me to be more present in other areas of the program, uh, but still, you know, not leaving anything in terms of kind of, you know, still having a role offensively and being able to do my part to help us win. Well, with that, you've had more time to, to just think about last season. What did you learn from last year that you can apply through the spring and go forward to next season? Yeah, just a constant climb. You know, it's a constant climb. I, every, every group is unique. Every team is unique. Um, you know, we've got... This team has a very different dynamic in so many ways. You know, now nowadays your rosters are changing over 30, 40 percent a year. You know, and then on top of that, having half your coaching staff uh, change, there, there's a lot new. And so, but you just you just keep building. You take those experiences, you bank them. You know, at times when they're going to come up again, how you're going to handle it. You have a laundry list of things that you know you got to do better. That I know I have to do better. That um, that you plan. You put you put these plans in place uh, to correct mistakes of the past and to keep moving forward. I need to do that. Our other staff members need to do that. Our players need to do that. And that's how you build because when you're when you're winning and you're there, you're doing it by this much. And when you're not, a lot of times you're just that much away. That's just the margins in our game and we're all fighting for every inch. Lincoln, when you talk about wanting to, you know, stepping back from the quarterbacks a little bit to focus on other areas, was there, you know, over the past couple of years that you've had now building this program, was that something that, that you feel like or you felt like you needed to kind of do for yourself as a coach or as far as just kind of your personal evolution to say, you know, focus a little bit less on this and focus a little bit more on a variety of areas. Yeah, I, I knew at some point I would probably want to want to have a, a quarterback coach. Um, I, I didn't feel like it was the right thing in the beginning because I felt like the best thing in the beginning to help us win was to make sure that that piece was right. Um, and I think, I think that probably showed a lot in that first year. Um, but I knew eventually, and especially as some of these rules have changed and more has gotten thrown on our plate, I knew eventually that I would want to just be able to have more flexibility. I, did, I never want to leave it. I don't know that I ever will completely leave it. Um, and But at the same time, to be able to have that flexibility where when I want to go in another meeting or be present somewhere else, I know somebody else can step right in and handle it. Like that's that's huge. And then the other piece of it is the recruiting piece. I mean, I can't, I can't go out all the time. Head coaches are restricted on when we can go out on the road and just have somebody that can be out there and evaluating guys, recruiting guys uh, constantly was, was really important to me. And, and it just, like I said, it fit because we had the perfect guy on staff uh, to to step in there and make that happen. Like, when you go to those yeah. meetings, are you observing the defensive meetings? Are you engaged in them? How do you kind of approach it when you're in those meetings? Um, I would say... I would say in the beginning, probably a little bit more observation. Uh, I obviously I, I have certainly a very good idea of what we're doing schematically, but when you talk about the finer details of this, I mean I'm I'm learning it. I'm, I'm further ahead than the players on it, but I mean I'm learning it um, for the first time, kind of like they are in a way. And so to be able to be there, to be engaged, to be able to have those conversations with our players, it helps me in my conversations with the with our defensive staff about you know, what we're doing or about strategy. Um, it's just been, it's been a, it's been a great thing. It's been awesome to be able to be in there and feel like that you're not, you know, missing out or costing, you know, the other side of the ball or another position group, anything by actually being there. You don't kind of have that, that guilty conscience a little bit. So, um, no, so far so good. Yeah. Yeah. How many coaches have you worked with that have made the immediate impact of seeing the coach Henderson in the short time? Um, he's, he's done a great job. He has. He's, uh, he's, he's really taken uh, to our players, to the recruiting. Obviously, you know, he's got a great pedigree coming in here that, that commands respect of our players and commands respect of recruits across the country. And he really has an infectious energy uh, and passion to compete that you really, really feel. So uh, he's, he's been incredibly impactful. But honestly, I would say the same. I mean, all of the new assistants that we brought in have been – We've been really pleased with the defensive guys have really gelled together. Uh, Anthony has really gelled with the offensive guys, especially you know tougher for him coming in just you know about a week before we got started. But man, he's out here coaching his tail off like he's been here with us for years. So uh, really, really pleased with the hires. Thank you, Coach Riley. Thanks, everybody. Appreciate it.